always some technical difficulties, dude. Okay, let's try something here. Oh, the, the camera fell asleep. <laughs> Gina K, what's up? Gina K, I'm pretty sure you ordered some supplies from me. Okay, you got my little hat. It's pretty cold today here in Texas. Although I only like to groom with a smock that doesn't have sleeves. So I was bundled up, but keeping my head warm. <laughs> All right, what's up, you guys? Uh, can you hear me? You hear me good? Oh, Gina K's like, no, I didn't. Okay, maybe. Oh, oh, there's a Gina G. That's what it is. A Gina G orders some supplies for me. Uh, I think she's out of Australia anyway, not UK. So. What's up, you guys? What's going on? Uh, we're about to groom a miniature poodle. She's not here yet. Uh, I'm going to just, I just want to get it going to make sure if I had any problems with the going live. And I'm kind of seeing what you guys are saying. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I was up till like two o'clock in the morning last night. And now I'm up at my first groom is at 815, but I got up at 530 in the morning. So I am, uh, I still feel hyped up. I still feel like I have energy and that's crazy. Cause I really, my mind is like, Didi, you're tired. And I'm like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right. So, um, I have a video of this dog. If the dog does actually arrive, I have a video of this poodle, great dog. And she's a regular, she, or I mean, she's a, uh, not regular. She's booked. She's a new client that's booked, was really happy. And she just actually, I, you'll have to hear the storyline behind it, but I don't want to ruin it because I've already done a video. Their first groom I already did the video, but the storyline is that she's gone different places. As a matter of fact, one of the places that she went, I love, uh, they've actually su supported my business at the dog upstand and has actually ordered like five, six dog upstands. Uh, they're here in Fort Worth, Texas called Glamour Paws. And for some reason, she just didn't like what, what one of the groomers there, what they did to her dog. And I was like, man, that's the best if if I had to find a groomer, that would be one of the best ones out there, but they're just pretty far from me, being that if I wasn't a groomer. So Glamour Paws, uh, props to the, those guys. I love their facility. I love um, just how clean it is for the amount of dogs that they groom there. Um, they're down by Camp Bowie here in Fort Worth, Texas. So shout out to Glamour Paws. Anyway, um, she had actually taken her pet to Glamour. She had gone many places, and she said she lives near me. This, this client lives near, near me. She said she stopped in, she checked my prices. They were a little higher than she wanted to pay. Keep in mind, we're done in an hour and usually one dog at a time. Like right now her dog will only will be the only dog in the facility. I don't know where else you can go do that, but it's very expensive for me to do that because I can't do 30, 40 dogs a day. Not yet. Uh, and I would only be able to do that. The dynamics of doing that kind of grooming it will what? Will change everything. Now I've got six groomers. Now I've got 30, 40 dogs a day. Now it's always loud. Now there's always barking. I, I don't think you could really do right to a senior pet, right? That's who we groom. And you can't really do right to a seriously aggressive, high anxiety pet. So it is what it is. And so my rates are what they are. So she called, she came in, she came through, she knocked on the door, came in, got a quote. She did, she thought it was a little high, took her over a year to come back and she said, it's worth it. It's, it's worth it. My dog's done in an hour. I, so at that point, that first groom, she was so happy. She booked for the rest of the year and now we're in December. So she'll be booked for all of next year. I mean, when you know what you want and when you know what you like, you will do what you, you will not have a dinner. You know what I mean? You will not eat out that night. You, you will save your pennies here and you'll put it in the right place for what you need. And so she finally saw driving pretty far for her, not having the type of haircut she loved and just whatever experiences she went through made her go, you know what? It's worth the 10, $12 difference, 10 or $12. I wouldn't want to sit in traffic for 25 minutes. That's how expensive traffic is to me. Okay. So I see you guys kind of commenting here. Um, what's up GM from Fayetteville. Good morning. Yeah. I love this hat too. I had it a uh, handmade and uh, years ago, because I would always wear my BDU military jacket in the outdoor events I would do, and it'd be freezing cold, and I would be doing toenail trimming every Saturday and Sunday for over 10 years. Can you believe that's what I did every weekend for 10 years? I just can't believe I did it. It was all outdoor, super hot, super cold, 
partially the rainy ones. I would go to the rainy ones. I'd go to the snow ones. And then I realized I hate going to the rainy ones. I hate going to the snow ones. And I would wear my BDU jacket because it's the warmest coat I have. The warmest coat I have. And no one would know if I was a boy or girl. <laughs> so I was like, dude, I need to get a hat so people know. They could just look at the hat and know that's a female, right? Can you tell I'm a female with the hat? <laughs> anyway, I can't say 100% someone really thought, you know, I was a good male or female. But it did stop a lot of the, sir, can you help me? Sir, sir. Sir, can you help me? It stopped a lot of that by putting these little eyeballs on my head. So I had it handmade. Um, shoot, I don't know if it's been five years since I did that. Then it's been nine years since I did that. You know, so uh, 10, 12, 10, 12 years ago. That's pretty cool, right? You take care of your stuff. It'll last your lifetime. All right. So I love your hat. Wow. Wow. Which part? Um, all right, so I'm going to have you guys on a just a quick intermission. I just want to make sure I have everything set up. I've already cleaned my tools and everything. Um, I might, if I have time, it just depends on if she just walks in like right now. I might do a quick shout out to Janish, Janishka. I know there was also a birthday shout out. I'm pretty sure I can knock this out right now. A birthday shout out to a lady named Pat. Her daughter emailed me and said, hey, can you do a hello to Pat? Pat, happy birthday. This was a minute ago, man. Her birthday probably did long gone past. But let me make sure her name is Pat, because um, I want to make sure I get that right. So give me a second here. Let's go through some emails. Let's see here. Mm. A lot of stuff here, man. Maybe I'm not even in my inbox, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's so slow. Okay, hang in there with me. Gosh, I got a lot of emails, dude. I actually have some emails I need to go back to. All right, dude, I'm not sure. I'm not can't, I can't find it right now. I have a lot of emails. Uh, and I actually cleaned out my emails a couple days ago. But I'm pretty sure it was Pat. I'm pretty sure the birthday thing was Pat. Okay, I thought you paid for faster internet. I know, I just, but scrolling through the email, it's like dragging. Maybe my computer's updating. Gosh knows it likes to just do what it wants to do without permission. All right, so I'm going to put you on a quick intermission. She'll be here in about five to eight minutes. So go grab your coffee, get your feet warm, do that. You know, I'm saying smash the like button, do all those things we need you to do. We're going to go on a quick intermission. And then I'll be back. I just want to make sure I got everything set up, ready to go here.
All right, we're getting ready, you guys. Getting ready. What's True Purple got there? True Purple, we got. I got your package ready yesterday. I don't think it's shipped yet. Angela Turk, what's up? Angela's awake at this hour as well. All right, good morning. Smash the like button. Good morning, Tammy. Good morning, Donna. Georgia in the house. Savannah. Well, there's 46 of y'all. Yes, you did. You told me last night you'd be up for the live feed. All right, we're getting ready, man. We're getting ready. All right, let's get to let's get a little chit chat. She should be here any minute now. All right, so oh, real fast, real real fast. Okay, hold on here. Thank you for loving my hat. I'm about to take it off, so I'm gonna get hairy. I'm just scanning over the file here. So we're gonna do. So she comes in nine. 10, 11, she comes in monthly. That's how much she enjoyed the grooming. That's kind of cool. She has a toy miniature poodle. Uh, it's called, the pet's name is called T Lu, spelled T I space capital L O U P E. T Lu, French, she said. And I was like, that is so cute. So we're going to do a one guard body, which means down. One guard down, top knot, four guard legs, seven legs as well. So it's kind of that fade blend thing. And then 10 clean feet, clean face. Teeth are really bad on the dog already. The dog is 10 plus years old, so likely not going to have another one. Dental cleaning. She did buy the Pets Life gel that we sell. Uh, I feel like, uh, the, actually, I know. Uh, so Esprit bought out Pets Life gel, okay? And Pets Life Gel is still its own entity, just like Dog Up Sand is its own entity, and so is my favorite groomer, two separate things. So Pets Life Gel was my favorite gel. It's much more expensive than Esprit Teeth Gel. 
Um, there is a minor difference. Pets Life Gel actually says on the bottle it uses distilled water in its product. And uh, those of you who have asked me about breath, who have asked me about teeth, who have asked me that would be something that you could try is do, uh, going and buying. You have to buy it, obviously, right? Gallons and gallons or big gallons or whatever, but distilled water, doing that instead of tap water. I wonder, I wish I could do my own study. It's just all the dogs I've had so far. I haven't ha I haven't made that a study. So what I do do is with sock, compare. So you should study your own life, right? And you are old enough to, you're, you're here long enough. Usually you're here long enough in, on this earth to kind of study some of the things that are happening in your world, in your animal's world, like the animal you live with. So my dogs, my Shih Tzu and my Shih Tzu Pekingese mixes, that's what they were, but I call them Shih Tzus. They look just like Shih Tzus. Uh, they were bred in Germany. I got them from a breeder at the time when I was in the military. It was the only place you can get a dog. There was not an animal shelter. It, it was just the only place you would go get a dog was down, this, down to this town where this lady had all these dogs. So these were a mistake dog. And she had them for sale cheap, right? So I got uh, Suey, and then later on Duke joined me because Duke's family was uh, getting separated. So I we would always hang out. So I took Suey home, and then a few, uh, almost ten months later, I said, "Hey, let's not separate the dogs. They're brothers. I'll take Duke." So I took them, I had them, and uh, Mom's almost here, and. Uh, they have had their life, right? And I got to live with them until Duke was 13. He died of heart disease. Suey was 15. He died of a heart attack in my arms. So I know that all that, you know what I mean? Pets Life Gel didn't really exist. That I found what was, wasn't there their entire life for me to study. So Pets Life Gel with my dogs, I didn't do that, right? But I did teeth brushing. So teeth brushing just with your toothbrush, animal toothbrush, stuff like that. Anyway, study. Don't let me forget if I can repeat this later. Uh, my clients here. So, all right. So here we go. Let me go get Tilu. Good morning. Good morning. How we doing? Whoa. It's chilly out there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Has it's it been chilly. crazy? Well, we had water, a pipe break. Oh, pipe when? Break. Uh, Friday night, it flooded. Oh, Friday night, and was that a night that we had seven degrees though? Yeah. So did you get lucky? Yeah. Well, well, at least on it, no, there was no freezing. Right. Cool. But we but had three I, rooms of water, and had to. Have you own, do you own your home, or you do you live yeah. in a home? Yeah. Insurance is gonna help. Really? Sorry. Three rooms flooded. How deep? Uh, it was about knee deep, and uh, we just you remodeled know. the bathroom. And uh, uh, we put the in tile, new tile, uh -huh. and then we put the tile. Oh, the uh, backsplash or? Uh, uh, yeah, kind of like, uh, uh -huh. what do you call this? Moly. Okay. We put the so moly, we put tile. Okay. That pushed it out of the new bathroom. <laughs> it pushed it <laughs> seriously. Yeah. Uh, that's your didn't get wet. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff going on right there. <laughs> but uh, that is a mess. We got to pack everything okay. up. And hey, 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 come here, see you. Where are you going, man? Now we have to have new floors put in. So, what kind of floors were in there? Wood. Wood. So, so the water would ruin the wood? Yeah. So wow. we're going to have all new wood. Floors put in. Oh, wow. wow. That's so, a lot. So, somebody did that. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the bottom. Yeah. 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 Just these three more rooms. So, what they have, what they have. Yeah. They have to have. Mm -mm. And, and my kitchen has no. No. Yeah, and then the one that's put into the wood board is my whole body. Gosh, I can't believe that. Oh. Where did the pipe, pipe break? Huh? Under the, <laughs> it was a pipe, or it was uh, in the wall by the dishwasher. Under the dish, really? Behind the dish in the wall, though? Yeah, in the wall. So, how did they, did they find it fast, or you guys were kind of shuffling? Well, we where saw, is it coming we from? saw where it was coming out of the wall, so we knew it was back there, so we shut the water off, and then they came and it up. Oh, yeah, wow. that's where it was. Wow. So, was wow. it an older house? Like, or was it different it's sort of piping? Or? We've lived there like 20, we've lived there 20 years. And it's about 27 years. Okay. So it's kind of old. So. But, it's crazy. Yeah. So that's getting all redone. And, oh, just that's a whole little girl. And then at the, same, at the same time, my grandson had a severe ear infection. And we went probably a lot of crying there, right? Yeah, and he, and he, not really a lot of crying because he's not a big crier, but right. he takes pain well. 
that mm. it hurt. And so right. I told the doctor, well, they're working in my house, getting mm -hmm. the water out. And so I rushed him to the doctor, and they take care of him and everything, and they put, called in a prescription. He kept waiting and waiting and waiting, and they never got the prescription. So I called in to see where the pharmacy was with the prescription. Well, we can't give him that dose. We've been trying to talk to because it's too strong for his age and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Well, this is his second infection in less than two months. So the doctor upped it. And <laughs> they wouldn't give it. His insurance wouldn't take it. Oh, da, 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 da. So we ended up fighting. The doctor and the pharmacy were fighting back and forth to whether he should get it or not. They wouldn't accept it. Not. Meanwhile, pharmacy closes. The doctor goes home. And he gets no medicine. Wow. So... I was ticked. So in the morning, yeah. they both got, I didn't call them. I went up to them and said, you guys are mm -mm. a bunch of crap grown-ups. You can't grow. You, you, between the two of you, they should have been able to say, we need to take care of the kid. Let's give him something. Let's agree on something. Give it to the kid. And then we'll find you figure it out. But no. Wow. Two grown-ups being stubborn made the little boy miserable all night. Right. I was ticked. Oh, the doctor so was not real happy with me, but she kept her mouth shut, which I was proud of. And the pharmacy was real proud of it. Wow, man. So hopefully they took care of that. Yeah, so yeah, they got I finally got a medication and it wasn't exactly what either one of them wanted to give, but kind of in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's like mm -hmm. because I was so mad I thought I'm not leaving here. You can teach. Wait with me in the doctor's office. I just don't sit here and scream and I'll with with you. Until we get to the medicine, right? <laughs> Same haircut? Yeah. Same haircut. Let's do it, girl. Boy. <laughs> girl. Come on, girl. <laughs> All right, I'll take you when we're done, girl. Give me a little bit, baby. Woo, she's been through a lot. <laughs> Woo, she's been through a lot, yeah? Okay, come here, T. Lou. There's been some folks that want to know how to do a tail. The other video that we'll load on him later does have a pretty decent tail part because I, I have never, I don't really do the pom-pom tail very often. So we do have that. Yeah. Did you guys hear that? It's like everything was going down. <laughs> and sometimes that's how it happens. Like everything all at once. You got to really get to test your patience. And that's why I said it was, a, she had a water pipe break on a Friday night. We had extreme, it was extremely warm. I want to say. Tilu, Tilu, you good man. Tilu's such a good boy. Let's get a mask on here. Still wearing my pug mask. Love the heck out of this thing, I suppose. So he's over 10 years old, so he's definitely not a puppy. And David, just so, so you guys know, David's not here. <laughs> okay. So you have a pet that's doing a monthly groom, you know what I'm saying? Should come in like hair is pretty, pretty, pretty decent, pretty good, good shape. Is that up for me? All right. You guys haven't heard me complain about my cord in a long time because I got the twist. On there, it's called original monkey cord. Haven't complained of it's still a cord, but man, it does not twist like it used to. It won't let me. You smell? You smell? So I know we're gonna do a seven down here, fade up like that with the four, but the body's gonna be a one guard down, one guard down body. So here's my one guard, which we're going to use is, uh, it doesn't matter. I get so many, this one lady ordered, um, more than one lady, more than one person ordered the wall guard kit. This is the wall. Matter of fact, this is mine. Isn't mine's an, so old. It's not even the wall brand. Um, but this can be wall. It can be all kinds of brands and it'll still fit the Andis. If you don't have the Andis, it's okay. Matter of fact, Andis doesn't have them like that. They have a magnetic type. Or a plastic type. So, come down this way here.
We're gonna go one guard down. I'm not even gonna brush. It should. It shouldn't be that bad. I should be able to get. It, it's gonna be bad there. It looks like a little bit because the collar's there. That's how you can tell if the collar is left on all day and night if it's tangled up in there usually. Must be half asleep. She is a she really is a female. <laughs> okay, you guys. You don't want to come in there and pull too hard, that kind of thing. You just want to let it glide. You got too many snags, you need to go and get your brush out. Otherwise, it'll pull up skin and everything in there. So I'm just going real lightly here. Okay, T. Lou. Hold on. Look up. Come here. There you go. Stand up for me. You're pretty tall, so. Good. Hey. Hey, put your foot down. Don't need to spend a lot of time here because there's, we come, you come every month. It's a little different than every three months. So you should be in pretty good shape. It's just kind of like, you know what I mean? It's not touch up only. We're actually doing a haircut. How can the, that hair grow out in a month? You guys, we do the same cut every time. So I, since I already have my one guard, I don't know why I'm switching. Then now it should be one guard down the top knot. Go ahead and do that now as well. Down means with the hair flow, so it's going to be straight back here. Not a long top knot or anything like that. It's called manageable. Okay, sorry, you guys lift your head again. Good girl. Now we got four guard down like the legs because we go to, into a 10, seven, four. You may or may not blend here, okay? So I'm gonna do a four down, four guard. It could be purple or it could just be your one fourth. David is picking up pets today so let me see so let me see i'm live what's up hey babe, it's what about oh thanks what are you you're watching me live bro yeah. what the you had to call me to tell me <laughs> i was just looking at the tv man how's the camera react like that you was like that for like 20 seconds man. was it so David's picking up dogs for me right now, for a client. Are you, are you, are, you don't have to say the name or anything, but I mean, you're picking up, are you there already or loaded up or what? Yeah, I'm already here. No. Cool. All right, well, drive safe and I'll see you soon. Okay, love you. Love you, mate. I was like, what up, man? Why are you bothering me? You know, I'm live right now. He's like. The screen, babe, the screen. <laughs> That's great, man. That's a good man for you right there. T 
Auntie Lou, you're okay, man. I'm about to get the dog up stand what I'm about to do, all this sitting down stuff. Now, what do we have here? What the? It's one of those days where it's like, dang, you didn't eat breakfast, Dee Dee? <laughs> I'm hungry already. Okay. We'll go back like that. We'll come into a quick sanitary. We better mess with the tail a little bit now. Dog up stand, please. Can you stand up for me, please? Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate that. That's good there, right? You good to go? Let's move these over here. I'm going to come in and just do uh, the sanitary back here. Sanitary up front. I'm going to take it from the front to the back. Up, 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 up. Use your code words. Watch the skin. Every dog is different. Come down the inside of the leg, just skim in there. Let's get the sanitary. I'm going to come back on my floor a little bit, but I'm going to move the tail and come in here and get private area. Great. I'm going to change my blade. Got a ceramic edge here. You go between ceramic and ultra edge. I'm not picky. I don't care, but I'm, um, ceramic edge here to do a clean feet. Paul here. This is going to help me do her clean feet, kind of spread the digits out a little bit. I used to use like the edge of the table, but now I have the mini. Put your foot down. Noises, huh? I'm making some noises. Put your foot there for me, thank you. Don't get upset with me. I don't know what that is right now, but I don't have you down as a biter, so. All right, now we're gonna get your seven blade out. Switch out, get your seven blade. I am the inventor of the dog up stand and the dog up mini products, product line. So if you buy it, you definitely support our business. Seven, just right above where you did clean feet. It's gonna fade. This is how you use your numbers, you know, you go backwards to fade it up. Mm. 
I'm gonna come back, use a different blade, use a different 10, and come and do clean feet, and come back and do a 40. So that's what I'll end up doing there. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here. This is a perfect opportunity. I'm gonna grab. I'll go get my 40 instead. See, if a client with a miniature poodle can come in monthly, you watched what well, yesterday I went, yesterday I did a, this one dog, this, this golden doodle matted again, same scenario. If a miniature poodle owner is capable, and so is Max Catan, Max Catan, to, excuse me, Max Catan de Tullier, he comes in every two weeks now, you know, requirement, but I mean, he did every two weeks for over five years, right? Three, four, three five years. This poodle, she didn't come in like all messed up. And she eat, she still knows, I need to groom my dog. I need to have my dog groomed and maintained. She comes in monthly. If these clients can do it, we know every client can do it. You know what I'm saying? The only time I understand that you can't is hardships. Um, you're older, and so your money budget is different. You don't work. You're... Um, you're having to do it at home because of trauma the dog's already been through with other groomers, you know, different groomers or vets or wherever they got the trauma. I hate to say other groomers. I don't mean it like that. But anywhere they got the trauma from, so you decide to do it at home now. But if you are a, a regular, like a worker, and you have a family, and you have, you know, a work, your job, you, you get what I'm saying, right? If she can come every month, so can everybody. Everyone can take that opportunity to say look we have a dog we should care for this dog and have this pet groom look at this i just groomed him a month ago i don't know if you guys remember i think it might have been a live session too where she was late she didn't show up for two or three hours uh she had a late fee she was really really late and she did not respond to any text messages she had her phone off because she wasn't feeling good this is the same client last month so now I'm doing four guard down and also right there where I left the seven, I'm going to come up with my four guard and reverse going against the grain. And we're going to do detailing when, when we get back after the bath. But if you don't know the dog and you don't, don't save your detailing, see Lou, come on now. Don't save your detailing if you don't know the dog for, for after the bath. Because if you run into where you can't blow dry that dog, it's over. Like, whatever you left the hair at looking like before you went to the bath is kind of how you're leaving that dog going home. So it just depends on the scenario. to keep her feet down so I can do this. down as a biter, but you never know. Tilu. Tilu. You like it? 
I've never heard you before, so I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, girl. Okay, here we go. Let's check the ears. Shouldn't be that bad, right? She comes in every month. Just what's in the ear canal here we can worry about. Just a little bit in the ear canal. Not much. I don't even think there's anything in there. Not much at all. Tilu, stop. So just a month, right? A month work. This is 10, and then obviously reverse for clean feet. Don't really hold that head there. Stretch that lip out. Get all that out of her, her lip area. Okay. Leave in conditioner, just a tad here, so I'm gonna brush. Hold that ear, just like you would a little girl's hair. Hold the hair. Poor thing is stressed out by the clippers. I don't think so. This dog has been getting clean feet and clipper shaves every month its entire life. Probably its entire life. Static on that one here. You got some static to you. Come on, you got some static? All right, let's go look at the tail together.
I am sharing my way of doing things with you guys out there. There's a million ways to groom a dog. So you do what you feel and you run your business, how you feel like running your business and you learn from who you want to learn from. And then you learn through the client what works for you and your clients. And if you're running your own business, no one can tell you what, you know, how to run your business. So I would take this tail and brush it out like a ball. I would separate it all the way from the middle, just like a cotton ball here. In the last video I did, I believe I explained how it's not really full. So uh, when she sticks up her tail, let's look at, it's not a paintbrush. It's not flat like that. You know, it's not that. We're actually brush it out like a ball. Not all dogs are going to let you do this. So if you have a dog that hates clean feet and clean face, I would have a talk with the owner. I would be like, I don't really think your dog enjoys it. So why do it? Why do that to the dog? Force it to go through something that it's hates. It's like, but this is my opinion. You guys want clean feet on every single poodle you do. That's how you want to do it. But if I am going through some clean feet, clean face on a golden doodle and that dog is like being a really mean or upset, I'm going to say, Hey, it's not even worth it. Let's do teddy bear feet, which is just regular, leave it in a round. So you take that out with a pom pom. Sorry. You shape it like a cotton ball, right? And the last time I talked about this, I said, we're going to grow it out. So don't take a lot off, but you need to come down. And if you're an artist, you get me just rounding it all off. I'm actually giving it time. If she came in with a matted tail, we would be in a different place. So you want her to, to you want, and we're doing this now, so I don't really need to focus on it after the dog has had a bath. Because if she doesn't let me completely 100% dry it, and then at least I know when it dries, it's going to have that pom-pom shape. It's going to be round all the way around. Can you tell? Spread it all out like a ball. Okay. It needs to be like a ball right here. That's kind of what you need to do. You need to have a cotton ball right there. Boom, boom. It needs to grow out some more. So I'm not taking off a bunch of stuff here. Feel me? Do you feel me? Thanks a lot, Deborah. Deborah, Deborah. Okay. Uh, just make sure you smash the like button. There's 63 watching, 34 likes. Uh, we all should know this by now. Smashing the like button is something we always ask you to do because if you want us to go live, we judge it by that and we also get a grade. Okay, so let me get set up here for the bath. All right, so if you don't want to hear the blow drying when I get to that, you're welcome to push mute on your screen. We always get a, we always ask questions, and most folks want to see the bath and the dry out. So if you don't like the sound, push mute on your screen. Let me set it up and make sure I can see you guys, and then we'll get started. Hold on, T. Lou. Okay, let's see here. Let's do this. Hold on, T. Lou. Maybe I should just pull this back <laughs> and look at the focus here. Okay. All right, let's get some apron on. We're going to use our Pet Silk Shampoo. The smell is amazing. One of my favorites. 
get this up to kind of a warm. We're going to use uh, the tearless shampoo on her face. Flea comb. Hey, hey, no, no. Clean the eye boogers out. Whoop, I almost got myself wet. That would have been hilarious. Okay. She's moving around quite a bit here. I should just store this thing upside down. I like to make sure the eyes are really good, rinsed out, the whole face is rinsed out, no soap residue there, no soap residue, got a stain in the eyeball. Make sure you get rinse out under the collar as well here. Rinsing should take longer than lathering. Especially under the armpits and the back legs. You don't want them coming back saying they're itchy. Mmm, that smells so good, doesn't it? You smell that? Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. No, no. Ears look great, so I'm going to take one cotton ball, tear it in half, and clean her ears because the ears are fine. But at least I got in there. Sometimes, if you're working with a severely aggressive dog, you may or may not do the ears that time. So there's sometimes where I, I'm like, the ears look fine. I don't need to get in there. It's not worth it. So sometimes you'll actually see me skip it. But if it's a really nasty ear, or you know, you need to address it, do definitely address it. But if it's severely aggressive, which is not her, then that's a different scenario. So cleaning her ears after the bath, and that would be a great place, a great time to do an ear cleaning because it sometimes gets them to shake some of that water off.
There, a good girl. That's better, right? You don't have to move around so much. What are you doing, girl? Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to blow dry her. It's going to get loud. Get your glasses on. Hopefully you guys can still see. That's her whole body except for her head so far. You have the right dryer, you can get done quickly and cause less anxiety and less stress. <sighs> So in order to do the trimming, you need to do on a top knot. It's got to be pretty dry, okay? So it's not something you can really skip. All right, so let's maneuver this back. Okay, I'm going to come in. How are you guys doing out there? Are you guys happy? Are you guys happy? Are you having fun? 50 likes. That's awesome. 50 out of 68 likes. I, I thank you so much. Are you guys having fun? Give me some purple hearts. Give me some purple hearts if you guys are having a good time. We're almost done and we're going to peel out of here. So be ready. We're going to say goodbye after this grooming. All right. All right, here we go. Go get her. Thank you, girl. 
Come here. Come here. We'll pick you up. Ooh, look at those hearts. Pink with gold. <laughs> pink with gold, but that's not what I said, purple. But uh, yeah, you guys got it. It's got some purple hearts, man. Those pink and gold ones are pretty, though. Purple hearts, man. Okay. Thank you. So many people are happy out there watching. Tiny bit of leave-in conditioner, just kind of on my hand. I don't want it really wet because I'm going to come back through, right? But because when it gets cold, thank you. If you're happy and you know it, say hee hee. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I think we really see the hee hee in the gaming channel, don't we? All right, so we're going to come back and just tidy everything up. And I love to take my apron off because it makes me sweat on my tummy because it's got a rubber material. It's waterproof, but boy, does it make you sweat. And I am going to be selling smock pants because I finally found out why. <laughs> I have ruined so many pants over the years. So if you need smock pants, they are now on my website at myfavoritegroomer.com under grooming apparel. It may be under the smock shirt, and then you can choose shirt or pant. I'm pretty sure it's the, oh, that's where it's at. So the smock pant, I'm really happy with. I wore them all day yesterday. I did not get hairy. My clothes did not get hairy. They are thin. So for winter, I actually am wearing a sport pant, like a tight, tidy, tidy, you know? What are those called? Tight pants underneath, sports, or wear whatever you want to wear underneath. But that way, it's not really loose. Okay, let me see here. One guard down on the body, girl. Yeah, leggings. Thank you. Leggings. So I wore a lot of leggings for a long time. I had all kinds of leggings. If you go back to my website, to video, old videos, I wore a lot of leggings. The legging, my clothing for a groomer doesn't last very long. My bras are about one to three months and I've got to replace them. They're so prickly. The hair doesn't come out. They're, the hair gets stuck in the seam. Little beady hairs. So you don't... You don't really hold, if you're, if you're, I don't know, man, but you're not really, I don't really hold on to my clothes for grooming. I wash them completely separate. And if you've got one little prickly in the middle of your thigh in the inside, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, get that out. So I'm really excited to have, go ahead and try these smock pants, which I did yesterday. I'm really excited about them. Dog up, Stan, where are you? I need you. I need you. I need you to finish my work here. I need you, man. I need the dog up, Stan. So I can keep working. Jason, I've been grooming 15 years. So, Jason, how long have you been watching? That kind of tells me how long you've been watching. We've been on YouTube. I've been doing YouTube for like five years and really, really bulked up the last year. Since October. You have so many videos to catch up on, man. <laughs> it's 700.
Remember that fade we did the other day on my head? Same thing. Working with your guards and fading down means you're going to have to scissor way less. If you scissor way less, in my opinion, you're going to save your hands in the long run. You're not going to have such achy hands as you get later in your career. Why do harder work if the tools are there for you to do easier work? No one's going to give you your hands back when you turn 60. No one's going to get replace that. No one's going to take away the pain of arthritis in your hands from scissoring for hours. No one's going to, no one's going to be there. Those clients are going to be gone. They might be friends, but they're not, they're not going to, you know what I'm saying? When you quit working, no one's going to replace that for you. It was the decisions you made in the work you do, whatever work that is, by the way. Like you have to be aware, like, wow, if I keep doing this, I might have a really bad back later. Or if I keep doing this, I might have a really bad, da, 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 right? Only you can look out for you. Let me see your foot, please. No, put your foot down. Put your foot down. There you go. Good girl. So using a garden blade is not going to get every little flurry, but at least most of the work is done right. We have to still come back through, but just the, I don't have to spend too much time coming back through. Jason's been grooming a month. Well, welcome, Jason, because honestly, if you think about it, guys, girls out there, there's not a lot of men on my channel that are groomers. I have a few great ones that are loyal and have shopped with me, like David Torres, and support me, come to classes and stuff. Jason, wow, thank you. Thank you, Jason. So, welcome, Jason. There's not a lot of men doing, not a lot. There are men, don't get me wrong, and it's great. I'm happy, but there's not a lot on my channel, right, guys? I mean, girls, right, you girls? All the ladies out there be like, yeah, there's not a lot. David Torres is definitely one. And we got some husbands, supporters, and stuff like that. I'm doing a lot more clipper work to save my scissor work time. But that's just skimming and stuff, you feel me? Okay, the rest I've got to come back and actually you know, do something with it. Okay. Thanks for the donation, Jason. You're the best. First donation of the day, yeah? Appreciate that. If I'm teaching you something, donate. If you appreciate me, if I've helped you, if I've sent you something free, if I've shared for you, if I've promoted you, that's where you donate. You donate because you just tip. That's kind of how, you know, I would picture it. Okay, I taught you something. If I saved you some money, things look like that. I gotta come back and touch up the feet here.
get your shaper brush out. Doesn't do much for brushing, but it sure does pull that hair out where you need it, where you need to see it and trim it. Look through under here, look all the way through and kind of see anything kind of sticking out. It's all quiet, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know about you, but it's quiet over here on my side. You can hear concentration. Sammy Davis is on track. He's a, probably about due. I think, um, I have to check. The last room we did was, uh, maybe we didn't post it. I'm going to have to ask David. We did a face on the edge of the table. Did you guys see that? Oh, yeah, I think you saw that where it was really bad. And I was like, wow, we're going backwards here. Did you guys see that one? That was the last room, but also, I mean, they know to book in advance. They, I think they have an appointment. I have to pull it up. I think it might be soon, too. Chastity's late. Chastity, you're late, girl. It's okay. I was thinking about not even going live this morning. I was like, I'm tired, man. Going live means I have to concentrate on way more things than just a haircut. Concentrate on the camera view. Get here, set up everything for the live feed. I can't sleep in longer. There's a lot more to it, you know what I mean? It's not like I can just groom and just group, focus on grooming. I gotta do all these other things. Okay. 
Oh yeah, you're still on that dog upstand? <laughs> okay, let's move you off. We don't need you on there anymore. Let's see if we can do the face together. Mikio says she'll be sleeping, but she loves the faces. So I've started getting our new shears. Our new shears are here. These actually will say my favorite groomer on the shear. Can you see that? It's going to say my favorite groomer on the shear. Woohoo! Okay. And this one I'm using is kind of like an 8.5, but the ones I ordered are actually made for left-handed or right-handed. You're going to have another stem here. And I'll show you the scissors if I have time afterwards. And I've been using these, if you haven't noticed, qu quite a while. I wanted to test them first to make sure I enjoyed using them. And I do. So I, I did an order. And I can't wait for you guys to use these. We'll bring them more affordable rates for you especially if you're a starter groomer, but they still are very, very sharp. And so if you haven't used scissors, I want you to get the starter scissor kit first and try to get used to the scissors before you go trying to cut the dog because it's very dangerous. I do recommend training. Okay. There you go. It's under the shears and it'll be like my favorite groomers shears is what it'll be called. I'm really impressed by them and I hope that... two. Okay, so we're going to come in here and just shape it up. Remember, she comes in monthly, so it shouldn't be like I've got to do a lot. Still got to groom, but it's not like everything's starting from fresh, like all the way over, just, you know, laying the patterns and stuff. Matter of fact, we kind of followed the pattern beforehand from the other groomer since when someone does ears, they kind of cut them at different places here. So it's hard to get those, get that to grow back in unless the parents are really on board and don't mind some um, periods of time where the hair is still growing back. I hope David's okay, man. He should kind of be here already, you know what I mean? Hopefully he didn't lose a dog. Uh-uh. Don't fight me here. This is not the place you want to fight a groomer. Fighting means arguing, moving your head, back and forth, any of that. You don't want to have an argument while you're grooming a dog's head. Oh, that might be him. Yep. There that is, David. Sophie, thanks for the donation, girl. You're the best. David. You're the best. David Lopez. You really did get a coffee? Yeah, I got your coffee. You're the best, man. I'm over here. I'm like, I am getting hungry. I should have ate oh, something. Cool. What? You're the best, man. He's not always that awesome, but today, man, he's really he's really trying to get some bonus points. We call them bonus points. You know, when you go above and beyond. Hey, hey, come here. I know. Let me see. He got some bonus points today, boy. Let me see. 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 Oh, yeah. It's a birdie. It's a birdie. It's a birdie. Yeah, it's a birdie. It's a birdie, girl. We'll come back with a 10 on a couple places there. That's a birdie. Let me see. Let me see. It's a birdie. He's in the bathroom watching me. Oh, my gosh. I'm here with a cell phone. What is he doing, man? If you guys are on my, me and you gave me, you would realize that I already told you guys something. I told you something about David. He always wants to be right next to me. Gosh, I love you, David. <laughs> What's he doing in there? I can hear you, man. I can hear myself. Don't act like you're not watching. <laughs> Chastity, oh my gosh, I told you, man, he loves to beat Pearl. Are you there? He's like, what? He's in the bathroom listening to me. <laughs> He's in the bathroom. 
Can you guys hear him? He says this thing. He says, you don't have to put my business out there. <laughs> Do you hear him in there? Oh, gosh. What do we got, a mohawk here? <laughs> Let me get a comb. You need your comb for things like this. You got to get that wispy out. It's not a mohawk, a little curl action, though. For reals. Oh, I've been using this scissor a minute to test it out, like probably a month and a half. So if you guys haven't noticed, it's nice. It feels nice. They're not on the website yet, but they will be today sometime. Love you. All right, girl. Let me get the tin blade out. Final touches, yeah? Get some final touches. Hey, we don't have very much time left. Make sure you hit the like button. And all those of you guys who donated it today, I appreciate you. We got some donations. We got a couple donations mm -hmm. from Jason and mm -hmm. one more. Uh, Heidi, I think that's right. Check with me. Oh, yeah. Heidi. Sophie, my bad. My and bad, Kiel. Sophie. The kill said she was going to be sleeping. Remember, this is too early for her, she said. But sometimes she does come and pop in. Yo! she out there? Me? No. <laughs> no, she's not out there, man. I have to say, Mikio is probably one of our top fans. She yes. orders with um, me. She moderates for me when we're on live like feed. Bread. She tells people, remind, she actually kind of mirrors what I do, which is like really cool. Like she's one of the top, you know. I can always count on her if uh, she's around to be like, no, David. She, David said one day, Dave, David's like, Didi's, you know, great it's, uh, or good. And Mikio's like, no, Didi's great. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's like Mikio knows something, you know what I mean? I'm like, how do you mean, like, Didi's good? Great, man. Like, a part of his life, you know? He's like, well, she's, she's okay. She's good. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Yes, it's not fair. <laughs> I don't get post. I don't get post notifications from you, Didi. I see you by chance. Same thing happened last time, Sophie. So uh, maybe I'll, I'll try to explain it to you. But you have to turn on notifications for whatever device you're using too. Like I, I actually um, have a couple apps where it'll notify me, but I've also got the notifications turned off on my phone for that app. So it'll notify me, but I will not get a bing bing because I've got all my bing bings turned off. So you have to check your device settings and then you also need to do the YouTube settings and you'll have to make sure you have the bell on. So three, you have to do three things when you get off of here today. Check your cell phone or device settings Check your YouTube settings, and then on my channel where you see my favorite groomer, subscribe and all that, there's a bell. Make sure there's those three things are hit, you know? All right. Hey, shut the door on metal. She's a booker. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm, I'm going to let you get Charlie out of there because you know him. Oh, why don't you just... Uh, oh. He's not doing well? You don't like me like that? No, I think he's got like... Really, really more fun. Well, I, I, I agree. So, we got Charlie in the house today. But met her something else, man. She's like, did you? She was in the kennel, right? I brought them both in. The no, I mean, but they were yeah. in the kennel when you got there. Yeah. Meadow, you cannot round up, man. She will keep. You can keep chasing her for an hour. She will get in the kennel and she'll run from you. You know. 
You got Meadow out? So Meadow is who Cynthia rescued when I rescued Brownie. So 10 reverse and then come back and clean up with a 10 down. We've already scissored. Same thing back here. 10 reverse, come back with a tiny bit of 10 down just to kind of blend that. How many groomers I got out there? If you're a groomer, just write groomer real fast for me. I want to see how many groomers we have out there. If you're grooming other people's pets in any way, shape, or form. Grooming other people's pets, write the word groomer. And if you want to be on a newsletter, uh, write the word groomer and put your email for me. Or privately email me. It's up to you. If you're not on, don't give me your email if I already have your email. If you're a groomer, write the word groomer. Just write groomer. Don't write anything else. Just write groomer. If you groom other people's pets. How many groomers do we have out there? Everybody. No, not everybody. Yeah, so far. There's some non-pet owners. There's some oh, pet I owners. Just write groomer. That means groomer. you groom so other not. people's dogs. Not just your own. You groom other people's dogs. They're all new to being groomers. If you want to be on a newsletter or our emails when we have a, uh, sales, then you can put your email there or you can go back and uh, email me at hey, myfavoritegroomer.com. Any, any more groomers out there? If you're a groomer, say so you're a groomer. Just put a right So right now I came back with my 40 blade just to clean up any loose hairs around the feet. Just real lightly cleaning around all the toes. That's just kind of skim. Skim down. So I'm going to do a deal for the groomers today. So don't leave. If you're a groomer, you better stay until the end of the video. I'm going to do one deal just for this episode, just for today. One really, really good deal. You need a blade. You need a blade. Any any blades. If you need a blade, <laughs> just stick around. All right. Um, yeah, we're about done here. I might just double check the ears again. We already cleaned the ears, all this and that. We tidied everything up. We're looking good here. All right, we're about to close up. Joni, you are you two are hilarious. Didi, your laugh is like a direct shot of endorphins. So funny. Thank you for the morning smiles, everyone. Support small businesses. They need you. Enjoy your day. Joni, Joni, wow, man. That's a great compliment. And have you seen our gaming channel? You need to go watch the gaming channel. If you think today's morning smile was great, man, I'll see you tonight later, 9 p.m. Central. Central time. Hey, man. What? Are we, are we off tonight? Good night. No, we, I'm not. I don't know. We got to lay all that tile then. I ain't off, but you are. Stupid. Hey, come here. I don't know what you're doing, but no, sit. Sit. You're scaring me. You keep backing up. Is it David? Is it David? He keeps going in and out. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Gosh, man. Oh, she's going to back off the table like twice. Joni, thank you. That's so cool, man. Seriously. She said, that makes, my, makes me happy. What she said makes me happy. All right, let's come back and check the ears. 
Boy, is this taking a while. I keep going back and forth. You know, I just love you guys, right? I just love um, spending some time with you guys. So I just got to say I appreciate you. Those of you who are really connected with me, man, it makes, it makes me so happy. Move the hair around. As soon as the dog leaves, things happen. So you move the hair around too. Up and down, back and forth. Move the hair around. Like I'm just moving it up and down, right? She don't like that at all. But she's been a really good dog, haven't she? really great to have good good groom dogs every now and then man because it's exhausting yesterday was two very hard groom dogs and makes it really tiring it's mentally exhausting too when you have a dog you're trying to help and battling you fighting with you to get the job done it's really hard it's scary So much static here, man. Watch the ear. See, the longer your shears, the more careful you have to be what you're cutting. Again, if you haven't used shears a lot, get the starter kit. Play around with some of the other tools out there that we carry so that you can get used to the scissors first. Because no matter what, every scissor is dangerous. These are really sharp, too. If you just started watching and you don't know, one of the videos I did was like telling you when I started using scissors, the teacher I had at the time at PetSmart, we couldn't use our scissors. We got our scissors and we couldn't use them for like two weeks. I mean, you have to, she's like, you need to take these home and you need to carry them around and you need to be practicing just like this, you know? You need to be doing some of these, some of these exercises like this and this and this and this, you know, you need to be doing some of these exercises with your scissors and you need to just practice all day. She said, practice every day. I mean, it's not like they gave you a bunch of scissors and then you got to just go in there. No. Where's the phone? Right there. Um, what was it? I can read it. So nothing's in the mail yet? Is anything in the mail yet? Well, we don't want to miss is the shipping for it too, is, you know. Is there anything in the mail yet? So we can know about shipping. Tell her that so she understands what the deal is. 
Okay, so ship partial. Today? Yeah, back order item. We need some gallons ASAP. Okay, this yeah. It's a week ago fine. already. People waiting on their orders, that'd man. Be fine. Or you need to hear from her? Yeah, I'm right here. I can hear oh. you, girl. Okay. Hold on. I need to hear it from you. I don't have Hey, it's Dee Dee. I'm grooming a dog, though. No, he's got it. I'm, it's, I'm here. I'm listening if you need my approval. Okay, I'm going to let you talk to David. Hello? Yeah. Like, what the heck, man? Yeah, um, the month of the invoice and everything, right? We just need to know when it ships, man. That's half the problem. Round out that back. I like to kind of blend in the back like that. You can use your blending shears, but I, I don't love to use blending shears. Although I am going to get some blending shears and do a whole blending video for you guys. The reason I don't love the blending shears is as you're blending, right? You're, um, these are my beginner blending shears. I've had them for 15 years. You're blending. Little tiny hairs go everywhere, including all in their eyes and everything. Like right now, look at her eyes. They're completely empty of hair. And if I had blended, if you look, there was a groomer that worked for me. And I was like, look at the eyes. I was like, if you're going to do that when you're done, you should wash out the eyes with the eye wash. I said, uh, there was two groomers that did that. And I was like, oh, that's why it looks real soft and gentle and soft, right? It's cloudy and soft. But the effect is lots of little hairs, lots of little hairs. And that is not my favorite thing. I don't like a lot of little hairs. All right, we're gonna do pet silk cologne. Just two squirts. And you gotta stop getting back there like that. You're freaking me out. Like, it don't take much to freak Dee Dee out. Stay. You're freaking me out, girl. Sweetie, I need my phone again. Okay, we're going to do an after picture, and we are done, girl. Put your foot there. Put your foot here. Oh, shoot, that's my fault. We'll wait till he gets over here and get a nice picture, an after picture. We need yeah, a chicken, girl. man. We need a chicken. She's yeah. Done you need a chicken? Well, like I told you, man, you're going to fall off that table. You need a chicken? Yeah. <laughs> we get the chicken, huh? Get you to look. All right, I'm going to put you in the cage, and then Mama's going to be on her way. Let me go tell Mama she's on her way. Okay? All right, girl. You did so good. Did she do good? She did great. She did great. You did so good. Your hair's so soft. Yeah, you're so soft. You want to make out? Yeah, I got some kisses. I got some kisses too. Yeah. You're so soft. You're so soft. Oh, you're so soft. Mm. 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 All right, let's go to the kennel. I call mama, okay? Come on, let's go. Meadow, what you doing, girl? Meadow, man. I can smell you. You need a bath, girl. Meadow needs a bath. Okay, let me text mom real fast Maybe. 
Hang on, be right with y'all. All right, you guys, I have a few minutes here to chit chat and there's some things. Do you guys remember I said, don't, don't let me forget. I'm going to talk. I could talk about that. Uh, I can finish out one story that I kind of remember, which is the pet's life jail story. So the pet's life jail story, there is a difference, but uh, it's really hard to actually get the pet's life jail product. So we are on our last bottle now, but we are working with the company to try to get more, but there are two different entities. So the main difference between pet's life gel and the Esprit gel is just that distilled water. So I want to, let you know that. Okay. Um, the price difference is huge though. So the distilled water, I don't know what effect, if it really is that I wish I had time to study that with my animals, but if you are out there and you have a, uh, thank you. If you have a, uh, a puppy, it wouldn't work because you have your dog and you have your dog's food and you have your own situation and you have your own living house or apartment and you have your own health on the dog, blah, 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 to compare it to my dogs. Right. But if you get a puppy and you just, if you can, which is tedious because you have to go buy gallons of distilled water. Am I right? You can do a lot of reading too on, on Google and different places, the encyclopedia and things like that. Go do some reading about distilled water and see, does this, ha may this have an effect on my dog's teeth, health, and organs? And I would challenge you. I'm going to, I'm going to do it the next puppy we get. It's going to be hard to do that if I have brownie. Uh, the next puppy I get after all these three dogs that I have now, I'm actually going to do only distilled water and I'm going to see how long that puppy lives compared to all the other dogs I've had in my care personally. So Brownie just got, we just adopted Brownie a few months ago. He's about two years old. Brownie, Faith and Saki have two different water bowls that they can drink out of. One is a stainless steel bowl of water, tap water. And one is a bowl of tap water, excuse me, a glass bowl has to be glass. And glass without a bunch of paint, just a plain, just simple, no painting, no pottery paint, none of that, which chips off, okay? No art and all, none of that, just a plain glass bowl of water. And I always do a one, at least one drop of lemon oil, doTERRA lemon oil, okay, in the water. And I can tell you just by watching them, I change out the doTERRA water bowl all the time, every day, almost every day, compared to the stainless steel water bowl. They drink both but they finish the doTERRA oil, lemon oil water bowl first. And that tells me, you know, animals can smell health. They can smell, right? And doTERRA, let me think. I say doTERRA because I sell it. Um, I'm not in it to stray you different. You can do Young Living, you can do whatever you want, but you have to read the bottle and make sure it can be consumed, okay? That's key. There's a lot of oils on the market. Some are just mixed up with other things, not just a pure essential oil. You want to be able to consume it or put it on your body. You saw last night, David was like, is this frankincense? Can I put it? He already put it on his skin. He's like, am I allowed to put it on my skin? You know, because it can burn you if you do it wrong. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one you can put on your skin. But he was panting. He was like, oh, shoot, I already put it on. And it would have been too late, right? Uh, he would have had to get oil, cooking oil, and rub it and dilute it off of his skin. That's how you get rid of that. If you put it on the wrong body part or drop, I had peppermint drop in my eye one time. I was doing peppermint in my mouth and it splashed up, got in my eyeball. I ran, it was burning my eyeball, peppermint. And I was running, I ran to the kitchen. I used uh, cooking oil, olive oil without any pepper and stuff, just straight cooking oil and just poured it in my eye and all that oil came out of my eye. Isn't that cool? Oil mixes with oil. Oil doesn't mix with water. Uh, it doesn't mix like that. So you have to, when you use it with water, you have to shake it up or mix it up like that. Get it moving in the water. Doesn't, they don't mix. Think of a vehicle oil and water don't mix. Okay. So you try to wash something off that's oil. It's not going to wash off. It's, you use oil to wipe off oil. Okay. Hopefully you understand all that. Um, I got peppermint in my eye last night. It hurt so bad. I, my eye was fuming all because I dropped some in my mouth one time. I was like, and I was driving. I was like, 
And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, and I had to get oil, stop what I was doing, get oil and wash my eye out. All right. So there's, I told the story about, you know, Pets Life Gel and Esprit Gel. So I think it's not the same thing, but we're working on getting the Pets Life Gel back in. I think I have one bottle left, but don't feel like you can't get the Esprit Gel. A lot of you guys have already gotten it. Uh, with the gel, apply it on your finger and rub it on the teeth. I don't use a toothbrush anymore. I've seen how much, unless you are doing teeth brushing every night and your dog's gums are used to it, I recommend ditch the teeth, toothbrush and just apply the gel every night with your fingertip if you're able to get in your dog's mouth like that. The bristles, if you don't, just like us with gingivitis and things like that, if you don't brush your teeth every day, you're going to have a bloody mess. And if you do that with your dog and you have a bloody mess or a client's dog, I would rather you say, look, I've ditched the toothbrush. This product is shown and proven to do well without a toothbrush. I'm going to just apply the Pets Life Gel or the Esprit Gel, Dental Gel, um, just on the teeth with my fingertip. Ditch the toothbrush. However, if you brush every night, don't ditch the toothbrush. It does remove from some food in there, depending on the way their teeth lay. Okay, you guys. Dee, how often should I clean my Havapoo's ears? So you want to make sure that the Havapoo's ears are free of ear hair, right? And get our ear hair cleaning kit if you want. There's one that has no ear hair kit and an ear hair kit. Get the ear hair kit because I don't know about the mix. The mix could be different, but the ear hair should be in a poodle's ears, right? So make sure you pluck all the ear hair out and clean every time you bathe, but also every time, every month. So like every month I would look in my dog's ears. You don't want the accumulation of the inside of the ear hair to get bad because pulling all that is very strenuous. If you wait like six months and it's like huge amount of hair to pull out from the ear canal itself. All right. Um, I'm about to close up shop. We've got 76 likes, 72 watchers. I know some people have come and gone. I have to say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being part of my world. Thanks for shopping with us at myfavoritegroomer.com. You saw, you saw how important it was for me to use the dog up stand today and even how an uh, interesting way to use the dog up mini on the feet when you're doing clean feet to get that little balance off of that. It's so cool, man. Use it for that. If you want those, go to dogupstand.com. It helps me because it's all my businesses. Uh, I, I really love you. And oh, <clears throat> Did I miss the Blake deal? <laughs> Keep working hard. You're doing so great. Thank you so much for your donations. Those of you who contributed to today's feed, I appreciate you so Are much. You doing a Blake deal or what? I'm doing a Blade deal. So the Blake deal is, um, I have to look at something. <laughs> Hold on. Let me look at, let, let me look at some dollar amounts here. Let me look at what. The 10 blade is the most popular blade and the 40 blade is such an essential blade. Seven blade, I use it, but 10, I use all day long. The guards, I use all day long, right? I use seven, one out of three times that I use 10 blade. So the 10 blade is probably going to be what I'm going to do on sale here. What's the best deal I can do? You know what I'm saying? So this is the deal. It's only for folks that watch this feed and it must be purchased today before midnight. So I'm going to write this out. I'm, I'm going to write this down today before midnight, the purchase of the blade deal, because anybody's going to watch this video later. OK, and so today, which is December 5th, 2018, is it? I was writing five yesterday all day. Whew. Today's December 5th, 2018. And what? Uh, both depends on which one you get. Okay. Just the 10 blade and the 40 blade, 10 blade and the 40 blade are the only ones I'm offering this deal to. So if you go in there and you order a 10 and a seven, it doesn't count. If you go in there and order two tens, it counts. Okay. So do some math. Let me see about the 40 blade. Make sure it's kind of where it, I can play with it. Okay. Um, Are you changing it? No. No, don't change it. Maybe we will change it. If you go to myfavoritegroomer.com, you clip on clippers, blades, and accessories. You go to ceramic edge 10 blades. Okay. Ceramic edge 40 blades. You're going to have a drop down menu. You're going to pick your pick it. And we're going to add a, a thing. It's going to be you have to order a 10 blade first. 
and then drop, drop down and hit tin blade, ceramic edge, not ultra edge, ceramic edge. So drop down, hit the tin blade, ceramic edge. And then to get your second one for $6 off. Okay. Your second one, this is a big deal. So get your second one, your third one, your fourth one, da, 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 all those additional ones at the December 5th rate till midnight tonight. Then you will get all those at $6 off. Does that make sense? So there'll be a link. It's going to say uh, December 5th, 10 blade special or something like that in that drop down menu. So you get one 10 blade at regular cost. You have to buy the regular cost one in order to then choose however many extra 10 blades you want in the $6 off cost. Okay. So same thing with the 40 blade. You have to buy one 40 blade and then all your other 40 blades are $6 off. So if you don't do it right, I'm going to just reject your order, but you have to order one regular price, 10 ceramic edge blade, and then you get the rest $6 off, same blade. And then you can order, and then you'll get the 40. You have to order one 40 regular price ceramic edge blade, and then click on however many extra 40s you want. So 10 blade I use all day long. I have a, over six 10 blades sitting over there right now that I can filter through. If you have a golden doodle, I have heard it left and right. You get the clipper. It comes with one 10 blade and they would have to sit and wait till the 10 blade cools to finish the dog. So I told each and every one of those people that I've ever talked to, which is a lot. You need two, three, four on a big dog like that. You, I have six, I think. Let's, let's count. Let's count how many 10 blades I have. Okay, that blade deal is a really good deal. Okay, let me see here. Tin blade. Tin blade. Tin blade. Tin blade. Tin blade. And I put one over here that needs to be sharpened. Tin blade. And this is what I have here. I have in my uh, cabinet over there all extra blades, like two boxes of tens and sevens and a couple fives and a four. Two boxes full of blades, okay? All right. So I want you to understand, I'm not just telling you, hey, get a bunch. I don't, I don't care how many you get. When you groom a dog and you can't finish because the blade's too hot, you'll be like, dang it, she told me. Dang it. <laughs> dang it. I know. I've, I've heard you say it. Dang it. She told me get two or three and I didn't listen. So this is the time for you. If you're grooming other people's dogs, pick up an extra blade right now. This is a really good deal. They never go down that low. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting us. MyFavoriteGroomer.com for the special ends at midnight. You don't need a coupon code or anything. You just need to order how I told you you need to order. And then make sure you subscribe and you share. Share this video. Just say, hey, you guys, this is how you do a poodle tail. Check it out. Share the video on your social media. Make sure all the sharing you do with your pictures on Instagram and Facebook of dog, the dog up stand that you're using. The So many people are sharing stuff, but you're not tagging. So if you tag... Pound dog up mini pound dog up sand pound my favorite groomer. When I go to Instagram and I type in my favorite groomer, I can see all of your pounds, your hashtag. I can see all of those. Even nowadays, you can see them through YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Isn't that cool? So thank you so much. Uh, please, please share. Please share. It goes a long way. And I'll see you tonight at Me and You Gaming. Okay. Uh, the link is way up above in the chat, but Me and You Gaming on YouTube. Just chat it. Uh, any? Let me see here. I got it. Let me show this person. He cussed. He cussed, so he it looks like he's having a conversation with somebody. Melissa P, donate two bucks. Melissa P, I was thinking about you all morning, girl. If this is the same Melissa P, that is. But Melissa P, um, I'm gonna do something. I have to. I feel like I gotta do something, something pink or purple up there. Yeah, that's the same one. It's not. It's not going to sit. We did all the motions. We paid for this dye. We did the dye. We spent hours dyeing our hair with you guys on me and you gaming. But I still feel you, man. So I, I'm going to try to do so. I don't want to dye my hair. I'm not a dye, hair dye person. My mom would kick my. She would be like, you did what? I could just hear her right now. It's not something you do. You just don't do that. So she's not going to be happy with me. But I'm going to do some a strip. Because it also takes a long time for my hair to grow out the top. It took ten, over 10 months to get it where it was like this. Remember that? It was like over 10 months. So I'll do a strip of pink for you, girl, or something. I think David had pink on. I have purple. I think it will 
purple would be fine, right? So, Melissa P, thank you for your donation. Again, you're supporting our channel, so I know I didn't disappoint you on the hair dyeing. And uh, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you guys go now, man. You go subscribe here. It's lavender. Uh, lavender. Try hair chalk. Okay, maybe I'll try hair chalk first. Melissa P said, thanks. You use wrong hair. You use wrong hair. Um, no, I don't think anything would dye our hair, honestly. I think it needs to be bleached first, right? All right, again, see you guys later. I've talked a lot, so thank you for sharing your morning with you, with us. I appreciate you, and we will we'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye. We'll see you later. We'll see you later, man. I wonder where David Torres is today, huh? Whoop. See you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.